Hey, Coach. Good morning. Good to see you again, man. My question for you was about the receiver position group last year, and they talked a little bit about some more freedom in their route running, what they were able to do you know, after the snap in terms of getting to where you need to be when you need to be there. I don't care how you get there. Is that kind of the same mindset this year, or has that changed a little bit? It was pretty good carryover when it comes to that and, and having the freedom to win the route, but uh, also to your point, to having the same timing and, and tempo and sense of urgency that we know the time of the play, we got to get open and it can't, can't take too long, but just really being on the same page with the, the quarterbacks and seeing it really through the same lens. Go to Adam, followed by Joe. Hey, Josh. Um, wanted to ask about Jalen Waddle. Uh, how encouraged or enthusiastic were you when that name was called a couple of weeks ago? And uh, what does he look like uh, in practice? Yeah, I was excited because, uh, you know, just getting to know him through the process. You know, he's a guy that we talk about being smart and tough and um, really loving the game. We think he really embodies that. So to be able to add um, someone like that to the team was exciting. And then just in the limited uh, work we've had with him, uh, just like everybody else, he's been locked in, working, um, really excited for the direction he's headed. Uh, a, a quick follow up, if I, if I may, do you envision him? I mean, I know his role will grow as he, as he proves he can handle more. But do you envision him as a slot receiver to start out? Really, for us, we look at these guys as the versatility for all of them to, to play anything. We can move them around based on the formation. So you'll see different guys in the slot um, and outside. It's just more of the formation of it than actual, like, he is a slot receiver. Thanks. Joe, followed by Hal. Hey, Josh, good to see you. Uh, wanted to ask you about Fuller. Uh, what stands out about his strengths when you look at the tape? And in particular, the speed, how might that impact uh, the entire offense and, and help Tua? Yeah, for sure. You name it. I mean, I think the speed is the, the one thing that sticks out. Um, not that that's the only thing you do, but you look at him as a smart guy as well. He's had some success in this league. And um, especially, you know, coming off last season where the, the speed is, is real and it should uh, apply pressure to defenses. And with his ability to do that, uh, you know, it's a, just another weapon for Tua and been fun working with him and get to know him. Uh, like I said, smart guy. And like a lot of these guys, they kind of embody what we're trying to get done in terms of being smart and tough and, and loving to play. I know at this point, almost every college and NFL locker room has a bunch of fast dudes. But in looking at the 40s, I mean, it does look like you have a lot of really fast dudes. What, what's your, imp, uh, what's your uh, thought about the collective speed? Yeah, I think that the, the play speed, so many times you see these guys, especially coming out, the time speed is something, and then you look at it on the film, it doesn't really show up like that. But I think we've, we've got some guys in the room that uh, are true game speed, meaning in the, on the field, they're actually that, that time. So, um, again, it should apply pressure to defenses, and having those uh, it definitely helps us. And looking forward to uh, getting everybody together. Well, Hal and then Safin. Josh, I wanted to ask you about the two guys who opted out last year, Hearns and Wilson. Um, what are you seeing from them at this early stage? Um, have you talked to them about what they may have done during that year to stay in shape? Absolutely. And even last year, um, during the time they opted out, we were in contact and, and staying in contact with those guys and checking in on them. Um, and everything went well for them. It's good to have them back around. Um, both of them have a, a bunch of experience this league, and they've also had uh, a good amount of success as well. So uh, having those guys around and, and, and being um, a mentor of sorts for some of the younger guys has been good. And just to be back around them again, you're not being around them for so long. Uh, they're, they're both guys that enjoy being around. And uh, like I said, they have a, a bunch of uh, experience in the league. So they don't look rusty to you? No, they're good. Stephen? Hey, Coach, I wanted to ask you, uh, what were some things that you liked from Lynn Bowden Jr. during his first season, and where do you see him kind of fitting in with all the new additions that have been made this offseason? Uh, what I liked was was the fact that, you know, he came in here a little bit later, of course, than everybody else by nature of being traded, but then just to have that trajectory of of not playing much to playing a, a pivotal role down the stretch and um, really the mindset that he had in terms of what he brings is very similar. I think we talked about last year where the guy's a, he's a football player. He's tough. Um, he adds the flexibility of being able to do some of the things you saw last year coming out of the backfield. Uh, it could be some wildcat things and it could be um, just moving around, whether it's outside or inside. So uh, that, that's been good. 
what are what are the advantages of having a player like Lynn Bowden and um Jalen Waddle play more outside than inside? I know you obviously you have your outside receivers, but what are things that those guys at their size and their skill sets and their speed level, what could they offer you on the outside? Really on the outside, um, it's a, the ability, like you can run well or you can separate. So we look at both of those guys as being able to do that. And again, formationally, you can have a guy you call a slot receiver, but now he lines up on the outside. And that might be for that week to exploit a matchup, um, a coverage, something that we think that we try to attack every week on. How does this guy stack up against the guy he's going against? And if we like those guys out there, then we, um, we have the freedom to move them out there and see if we can um, take advantage of it. Uh, we'll go to Barry last. We have Danny Crossman waiting. Hi, Josh. Wondered if you have seen Preston Williams over the last couple of weeks and how he looks to you physically coming off the, the foot procedure. Yeah, I have. Um, trajectory is, is great on him as well. Um, he's uh, he's in a good place with it and you're just being able to come back and, and try to get back on the field and, and try to get that thing moving in the right direction. But he's done everything uh, from coming in and working with Kyle and Dave and those guys to put himself in a position to uh, – to really get it as part of the new offense and and, and find his role and um, excited for him as well. 